How's it going guys? Mertz here bringing you another Watcher of Realms video and today we will be talking about the new event. So first things first, let us calculate how much Rampage medals you can get for now because there's still an upcoming event, the Treasure Hunt Celebration. So the total is, we have 2, 4, 6, 8. 10, 104, 30, 70, 200 plus 369, 60, 150. So 350 in here. And then there's five of these. So that's 150. So 600 and 150 here. So 750 and we have some in the new event. So 5 plus 15 so 770. So we have 774 now that we can get. So after the reset we will get another 15 here. There's none here. There's a hundred here. So that's 870. And that's it. So, on the 870, what do you prioritize? So, for me, the most important thing to buy here in the event shop is this one. The Legendary Skill Crystal. As you can see, it's the most expensive one. As it should be. This is the most important thing here. So after buying this, you, you're left with 570 Rampage Medals. So the next thing you want to buy here is the, of course, the Summoning Crystals. And then the Fable Dice, which costs 60. So 570 minus 180 minus 60. So you are left with... 330 so the next one is this one the legendary skill dust so that's 120 so you're left with 210 the next important thing here is this one the epic skill crystals so after buying all of this you're left with 30 because this is 108 so with that 30 i suggest you buy one of this <laughs> So buy an epic skill dust that's 100 pieces but for some people they want the mythic extract but for me that's on the bottom of my priority because i still have 11 pieces after promoting three heroes to max promotion and some newer players need this but i don't really suggest that you buy this because it will be easy on the mid game when you're farming for promotion materials you will get a ton of this look i have 28 and i think you only need four or six four for promoting a four star and six for promoting a five star to stage five so the next ones to prioritize is the stamina this one so if we get more medals from this the next things you should buy are of course clear this out buy these and then the stamina and then the xp and gold bonus and then the auto fight with the remainder of your medals just buy this if you can clear out the whole shop which i doubt that we can so with this i actually get mad when i get this on the promotion raids <laughs> instead of getting the insignias so to clear out the whole shop you will need 10 -da -da -da, a whopping 1905 medals and that is excluding the gold and the hero xp these two so if you want to get all the gold you will need another 2997 medals <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to get all the hero xp you will need another 1998 which is really bad if they don't give 
a ton in this treasure hunt celebration which opens in 10 days if you add all of this 1905 plus 2997 plus 1998 you need 6900 medals i doubt you will get 6000 here that's the computation of the redeem shop so <laughs> My suggestion is just buy the legendary crystal and the summons and then the legendary skill dust and call it a day. After that, go for the this one, epic skill crystal and the epic skill dust. And for the remainder, just buy the stamina. That's my suggestion. But if you need the mythic extract or the legendary extract, I can't blame you if you buy these because when you're a new player, you are really lacking this mythic extra and it's hard to farm this. You will spend a lot of stamina. But believe me, look in my inventory. I have 6, 5, 3, and 19 of the gold ones. And I have 11 of these. So even if you pre-farm these ones, the gold ones, you will still have enough of the mythic X stock and not enough of the gold insignias. So enough of that. Let's go to the gameplay of this event, Odyssey of Dreams and Trials of Fury. Now for the Odyssey of Dreams, there's not much gameplay, you just roll a random number with the dice, you just tap this. So let me show you. So you just tap the dice and it will generate a random number and you will move according to that number that you rolled. So 6, another 6, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So if you land on the statues, these four statues, you will get a bonus. I got an ancient summoning crystal when I landed on one of those. But you have to really get lucky. So that's the gameplay of the Odyssey of Dreams. So after moving 96 times, so as you can see here, current step, 63 out of 96. So if you finish this, if you move 96 times, you will get 10 legendary summon shards. I have 10, so that will be 20. And if I get 30, I will get a legendary summoning crystal. So I'm 10 away after I get this. And then... 150 of the rampage medals we take we took into account this one when we computed for the total you can get for now and one summon <laughs> and that's it for the odyssey of dreams now for the trials of fury in here i can easily do c5 so i started there and went down because of this first time rewards as you can see here, I got the first time rewards by doing it for the first time. So I suggest do the hardest one you can, then go down for the medal and the summon. Because these are rare, the, the rampage medals are rare. And you can't get them here. You're just gonna get mithril, stamina, and diamonds if you clear the phase. If you clear phase 5. So I suggest do every stage once and then spam the hardest you can clear. And I see some people saying in the world chat that they're struggling on C5. Yeah, you can get away with spamming C4 if you're a new player. But I don't see level 50 and up struggling with C5. But if you're a new player, it's fine. So the reward difference is 5 diamonds, 20 energy. 15 mithril, 8,000 gold, and 5,000 experience per run. So it's very little. If you can do C5, just do C4 and it's still good. So just do it 3 runs a day. Now let me show you guys my runs on C5, C4, and C3. And I hope it can help you guys with the heroes and placements. My only advice here is there's three lanes. So you need at least three ground heroes to be safe. On my runs, I run with six ground units and two platform units. You can mix and match with whatever you've got. Just take note that the boss has heavy armor. So you might want to bring one or two magic damage dealers to deal with the boss so let me shut up and show you guys my gameplay
And that's it guys, that's my gameplay and guide on the new event. If you have any suggestions, write it down in the comment below. As always, good luck on your summons. See you on the next one. Peace.